What's up guys, Hayden here with DLife HD, and this is what's new on Game Pass. Since the last time, we've got a whopping 24 new titles added. I'll only be going into a few and just summarizing the rest, otherwise we'd be here far too long. As always, these are games that are cloud enabled and compatible with your phone. And starting out with the big ticket item, the Halo Infinite Campaign. If you didn't think Game Pass had value before, you're now getting a brand new Halo campaign when it comes out, included in the service, just like everything else. The value, my goodness. But the game itself, I actually started this, I'm about three-ish hours in, I believe. It's already so much fun. The world is beautiful. The transition to an open world game for Halo has worked amazingly the story the voice acting everything is fantastic so far i definitely recommend giving it a shot next up is the semi older indie game now stardew valley this game is amazing this game is so much fun hopefully this game passes isn't just me raving about games but this game is i mean it's a farming game which in most other circumstances i would say that's boring but stardew valley makes it so much fun. It's just a joy to play. The characters, the setting, the music, the atmosphere, beautiful game. Please try it. <laughs> and now the last of the games on this list that I have played and love, My Friend Pedro. This is a twin stick shooter platformer. It's a ton of fun. It makes you feel like you are the boss of the game. It has a really cool twist at the end, which I will not say, but just know there is one. The story, design, everything, really, really cool. I, I love this game. I had a blast with it. So, yeah. Next up is Mortal Shell Enhanced Edition. Now, as a huge Dark Souls fan, every fantasy action game like this, I'm going to compare to Dark Souls. Graphics-wise, this looks amazing. Combat-wise, it looks amazing. This is something that I really want to check out myself. I haven't played it but it looks really cool. There's a roguelike mode, uh, which is, that sounds really interesting for this type of combat. I think that'd be really cool if it's done well. Um, overall, it's something I really wanna try it myself, so check it out. All right, now we have Dead Space. And Dead Space as a franchise is one that I've always heard about and know is known for being really good, but I've just never gotten around to try it. It seems like exactly my type of game, uh, the tone, everything about it looks like so much fun to play. So now that it's on here, I might actually give it a shot. It looks really, really good. It's uh, very alien-like, like the movie franchise, um, but it looks like a lot of fun. And it has a reputation for being excellent. So lastly today for the ones I'm going to be going in depth on is Deer Simulator, your average everyday deer game. Based on the title, you might be confused because this is not your average everyday deer game. This is sort of in the vein of Goat Simulator, where it's a lot about chaos and weirdness and just doing whatever you want. But this kind of goes more extreme, where you do a lot of not very deer things. Um, the cover shows the deer as part motorcycle, you can stretch all different ways, there's tons of different things you can do, and it looks like a lot of fun, it looks really, like... I don't know, goofy, very like early 2000s vibe, that kind of indie game that was coming out around there. It's probably not a very long game, but probably a very fun game when you get into it, so I would check it out. All right, now on to the huge list of games that I'm just going to rapid fire through. Mind Scanners, Before We Leave, Undungeon, X01, Fae Tactics, one Piece Pirate Warriors 4 Space Warlord Organ Trading Simulator Serious Sam 4 Archvale Rubber Bandits Anvil Vault Breaker, which is a game preview Lawn Mowing Simulator, very fun, kind of sarcastic Townscaper Warhammer 40k Battle Sector Evil Genius 2 World Domination Generation Zero Next Space Rebels and Dragon Age Origins. Only one take, thank you. 
And now I'll just go through the much shorter list of the leaving soon. We have Guacamele 2, Ukulele and the Impossible Layer, Beholder Complete Edition, Unto the End, and Wilmot's Warehouse. Alright, well that's all for this week. If you enjoyed it, please help us out by liking the video and subscribing if you aren't already. Check out our Twitter account for gameplay videos and please, please have a very Merry Christmas.